Hi, this is Jennifer Evans, and I am so excited to introduce you to a set of four stencils that I've designed around the Paisley motif. I didn't realize until I started researching the Paisley motif that it's actually been around in fabric and weavings and home decor for centuries. So this was a pattern that I designed with the Pantone's color of the year, which also happens to be my studio name, Periwinkle. And I really just, this launched uh, this whole interest in doing Paisley in my own designs. So this is the first stencil based on that pattern that I initially designed. And it has three different Paisleys with a lot of linear figures happening in the middle of the Paisley or the teardrop look. So I'm gonna show you two of these stencils with watercolor and the other two I'm gonna do with acrylic and gouache so that you can see different ideas for how to use the stencils. So if you watercolor these with some paint on watercolor paper, you'll get kind of these white lines that you can then trace over I think it gives it sort of a stained glass effect. And this is the larger one that I watercolored and then when it was dry, traced over some of those white outlines with a pen. You could use also a fine brush or um, gel pens or whatever you have. And then um, I cut this out and that's gonna be added into a mixed media project. The inspiration for this next stencil are bleeding hearts. If you're not familiar with that flower, they do bloom early on in the season. So they should be coming up shortly here. I think I remember last year, I had some bleeding hearts in my garden at the tail end of spring bulbs like daffodils and tulips, because I think I remember putting them in bouquets. But if you're not familiar with a bleeding heart, you might want to Google that and you'll notice that they have these tendrils with these cascading heart looking blooms that kind of cascade down, uh, down the arm of the bleeding heart. So this example has them kind of bursting out both sides of the paisley design. And I'll show you how I watercolored that one. And then it also has this companion little paisley with a violet or a pansy, whatever you like, with um, some leaves and vines trailing as the crown of the paisley. This next one, the four by four, is a continuous border. So it picks up the side of this paisley and lets you continue on. And here I've done that as an example. There's a lot of detail packed into this little four by four space. So my tips for you are make it easy on yourself and do one color all the way across if you're gonna do a repeating border and fill in with the details with a marker or colored pencil or something like that. Or if you just want the tulip design in between the paisleys, my tip is to get yourself a roll of painter's tape and tape off the parts of the stencil that you don't wanna accidentally pick up when you're doing your stenciling. Um, it will make it much, much easier to just isolate, or maybe you want just the teardrops around the outside of the paisley and you wanna doodle in your own. The last stencil gives you some outlines so that you can create your own paisley designs, but it also has some different uh, leaves and flowers so that you can embellish your paisley. If you take a look at paisley designs, you'll notice that a lot of them do have botanical structures to them. Some of them start with a vase or an urn at the base of the paisley and then have florals and vines that kind of creep up that teardrop design. So Go ahead and doodle away, create your own paisleys. If there is a particular subject matter that you like, doodle it into a paisley. I would love to see what you create. If you punch out the masks from that stencil, then you have shapes that you can play with and kind of have them cascade around. You can turn them. You could even do like a 
a triad leaf like that. There's just endless ways that you can play with this. But this is my journal where I've done the four by four repeating border up the side. And now I'm gonna get ready to just arrange these masks in a way that seems pleasing and trace the outline so that I can doodle in my own paisley design. So have fun playing with these new paisley stencils and they are very interchangeable. So you can even use the one mask to block out some colors and use it interchangeably with this one that was done intentionally so that you can get a lot of mileage out of using these stencils. I love repurposing things and I love using all sorts of mixed media. So I can't wait to see what everybody creates with this new set of Paisley stencils.